Alright, here we go with another Cardboard of the Rings deck spotlight. I'm Chad, and this is a deck I built called Seven Resources Per Round. You can see a full deck list beneath this video in the description, and you can see Dave G and I use it against Across the Etnmores in a video called Troll Trapping. This deck is pretty unique because it uses a lot of unique cards. It uses Arwen, Leadership Denethor, and Mablung. It also uses Steward of Gondor, and Ally Glorfindel, and Ally Legolas. So if you show up with this deck unannounced at a four-player game, you might end up playing a solo game. But in a fellowship where the other person knows what you're bringing to the table, you're going to have a lot of fun with this deck. So how do you get seven resources per round? Each hero, of course, gains one resource at the beginning of each round. Steward of Gondor gains you an additional two. Arwen's ability gains you one more. And your seventh resource is if you engage an enemy. Gameplay is very straightforward. Play Steward of Gondor on Arwen. With her ability, you can gain a whopping four spirit resources each round. This enables you to do all kinds of stuff. Play a Northern Tracker on turn one. Play the Elven Lights that you discarded to get one of those resources, drawing a card in the process. Maybe play a Steward of Orthanc first, then draw the Elven Light. Use the Steward's ability to draw a second card. Once Arwen has Steward of Gondor attached to her, she has the Gondor trait. This allows Denethor to pass his resources to Arwen or Mablung. There's only a couple leadership cards you have to pay for once you put Steward down. This allows you to decide which hero gets the resource from Denethor, enabling you to play the card you have in mind. Let's talk about Elven Light in this deck. In addition to Arwen, if you have Glorfindel on the table, you can ready him by discarding the Elven Light. Or perhaps you can put Steed of Maladris on Arwen. Using the Steed's ability, you could also discard Elven Light. With all those spirit resources, you'll be able to draw many cards each round. Elven Light is not limited to once a round, so in theory, between Arwen, the Steed, and Glorfindel, you could play it three times in a single round, filling up your hand with the other powerful cards in this deck. Some of the other cards are a Zane Silverbeard, Legolas, and Fierce Defense. These are the more expensive ones. Legolas and Azane, of course, are amazing. Azane especially with Mablung. When you engage an enemy, you gain a resource, and Azane lets you spend that resource to deal two damage to another enemy, perhaps one you're leaving up in the staging area, and slowly damaging to death. Fierce Defense is just a fun card I put in this deck. It costs three tactics resources, but it's a great way to get rid of an enemy without actually having to defend it. Speaking of defense, a uh, Gondorian shield on Denethor is pretty darn good. With Dunedain Remedies and Gondorian Discipline, you can handle all the healing and damage canceling. There really isn't any big tricks to this deck. It's got a lot of the standard spirit stuff you see in spirit decks, Unexpected Courages, Test of Wills, Elrond Councils, and Aether Swordsman. In fact, I'd say this is a great deck to give somebody who's just starting the game and has played with the core for a while and wants to see what some of the later mechanics in the game bring to the table. You generate a lot of resources each round, you draw a lot of cards each round, and you can afford to play those cards. I hope you give this deck a try. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you on the next one.